Out of time. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Who needs a radio when you got V? No. no. <laughs> yeah, no, just throw a couple words at me and suddenly there's a song in my head. I'm not at all a real life bard. <laughs> you, you say that as though it's a bad thing. Hi, no, everybody. absolutely don't. Hello, hello. It's good to, well, we don't see you, but I'm looking at the chat. So technically, I think we do get to see them in that respect because like we see the comments and stuff coming up. So uh -huh. It's good to have you here joining us for the last episode of Paint and Slay for the year 2022. And that's how we got started on 2000 party. Oh, there's reasons. There's reasons why these connections happen in the brain. Anyways, this is the second part of the night hag that we are putting together from WizKids Frameworks. Uh, so it's a sort of assembly first and then you prime and then you put it together. And we got far enough to get... Little Miss Hag herself put together, primed, and did some highlight work on her, um, or actually low light work, I should say, because this is stuff that goes underneath the colors. And we also had some accessories to put together and also prepare for today's stream. So this is the stream we're going to finish doing the low lights and then also getting the colors on. We're going to be working with glaze techniques as well as washing techniques to help put color onto this delightfully haggard hag. But before that all happens... <laughs> Is there anything that we need to let people know about before we get started, Lauren? You know, things that might be happening in the game, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah, sure. So first, let's start with the the usual with uh, our weekend buffs. It is Whoa. the All-Star Weekend. There you go. All-Star Weekend, All-Star Gold Chest. Look at those All-Stars. They're That's awesome. Uh, that should be available <laughs> now. So now. if you update your game uh or update if you just wait for the update to happen it mm -hmm. should go live also this is a free time gate weekend because we are in between events so make sure that you check out what time gate you're going to get uh what three champions you're going to have to choose from and as usual if you have any uh questions about hey who should i pick from i'm sure chat would love to help and we'll help too uh yeah Go ahead and put those in chat. Martin is in our chat grabbing questions, big capital letter questions. Uh, and so if your question is, hey, should I choose from this champion, this champion, or this champion, go ahead and put them in chat. And we will do our best to give you advice on who to pick. Yes. Um, also, if you didn't see, our next champion spotlight went live. The blog is live now, now. Mm -hmm. If not then, then maybe now. Then soon. <laughs> But soon. Thank you for going with me. Yes, the blog is live. Yay. Yay. Um, so the blog is live. And then also the spotlight video is live. And it's Imowen. It's another champion of Baldur's Gate has is going to be coming to the game this winter shield. So go ahead and check out the um the quick spotlight on YouTube or the slightly longer, more detailed blog on our website so you can learn all about Imowen, who's coming to the game next Wednesday. Um, and I think that's it, I yeah. say, with my voice really high. Oh, we also have, um, you know, 
Hey, fun news. We have a, a fun little deal on Humble Bundle that just went live too, like within oh, the past yeah. hour. If you want to check that out, it's all the starter packs plus Red the Squirrel. Um, go and give it a look. See on Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle, not Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle. <laughs> I was going to say Humble Bumble. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. At humblebundle.com and give it a look. See, it's actually really cool. You can kind of get some customization going on there and picking and choosing and all that sort of thing. And uh, proceeds are, a portion of the proceeds are going to World Central Kitchen. We've decided to work with that particular charity for this one. So yeah, heads up, check it out and give it a look. That's going to be going until December 30th. So you have a little time to follow up on that one. But yeah, that just literally is a thing that is happening. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a great bundle. It is a, a ton of stuff a for of stuff. a great price and a great cause. Yeah. So if you're looking to um, spend a little bit of money uh, on yourself or your friends and get some fun stuff, right, old champions, and uh, do good in the world. Humble bundle, which I'll say slowly yes. because I also kind of want to say bumble mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's just a Friday. It's and a it's, Friday. I mean, plus all those silly little holiday songs that are floating around. It's hard not to get sing songy rhymey with your speech patterns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bad. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. bad. I tormented the kids after I watched How the Grinch Stole Christmas the other weekend and I was walking around a bit too Susian for their pleasure. <laughs> Like, you hey. know, I've 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 had a couple of Hanukkah songs in my head, including mm. Puppy for Hanukkah. Just every once in a while, I got to play it on yes. YouTube and listen because you it do. makes me so happy. Yeah. See, I mean, for me, it's Dominant the Donkey. <laughs> Which. Oh, that was that's good. That, that's good. That, too. that yeah. definitely. Yeah. I, I heard that one a lot growing up. Mm. Um, so anyways, we're getting way but off hags. topics. But hags. About them hags. <laughs> uh, we went through at the very end and we took green gray and we did a light dry brushing across the hag to start bringing out some details. We're going to keep doing that. But this time we want to move to German camo. And we'll lightly dry brush the hag as well as the gingerbread person. Uh, but not the cauldron. Oh, and we did the candy cane. So um, not the cauldron yeah. and the candy cane. Those two we're going to be doing with a different color. So go for that German camo. And we'll I also realized brush. I did. I want to put my hag on a oh yes on a stand Perch the hag perch the perch. hag. Not it's been a fish, while since <laughs> it's been a while since we've needed to to perch a mini. Mm-hmm. And I just I saw you showing it off on your perch, and I went, you know what? I should yeah I should do that. I should do that with my hag. I might have there to pop go. it off the handle thing because I always forget that my boom is metallic, and this handle has a very strong magnet on the bottom. Yeah. And sometimes they don't play nicely together. So if you hear a clunk, that means I'll be removing the handle soon. Uh, but yes, this is <laughs> this is one of those paint pots from the Chimera Paint Night Kit. Uh, paint Kit. Sorry, forgot they changed the name. The Paint Kit. So I, we're just going to tap into these. This is probably the last time we'll be using these paint pots because we've gotten a lovely couple of cases from WizKids to start using the prismatic paint sets. Uh, in the new year. So we're going to also dip into I just get mm-hmm. nervous every time I open up these paint pots. Uh, you I'm just going to say it. You it and me just both. makes me nervous. There's always that, please, dear God, don't spoot on me. No, I don't, don't want to make I any don't, more of a mess I than don't. I already do. I really don't. Where did my mixing brush go? Wow, I thought I was ready for today. And not only did I Uh-oh. not have the hag on the thing, but I didn't have a mixing brush available. Oops, I'm see. Just I, I'm just out of sorts today. It's it's that like um, that sort of like end of the year syndrome, last day of school stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's that last day. Whoa. All right, here we go. So this is a, a dry brush all mm-hmm. over the all okay. over, all over. Let's yeah, kind of harkening back to what we've done in the past with things like the myconids and other minis. Because uh, like I said, we're going to use the glazing and washing techniques on this to help really pop out these details. All right. And while <laughs> I begin to do that, Martin has already grabbed Sweet. some uh, awesome questions. Actually, we've got a very specific question about the assembly of this. Um, mm-hmm. So we may have to go back and look at our assembly instructions. Bellswin wants to know, I can't get D1 and D2 to fit together. Any suggestions? From my um, yeah, and while, while V is looking that up, I'll remind everybody because these are sprues, which I just like to say. Um, okay. What we're talking about, what, what Bellswin is talking about is specific parts. Yeah, um, this was a tricky set. Um, you have to find there's a very specific nook that this is going to sit in. So the part that has a big flat base on the bottom, set that on the table 
or right in front of you type of thing like that. And then just take this piece and sort of glide it along the top and it'll suddenly just fall into place for you. That would be my recommendation for you. Um, worst case scenario, you truly really can't get it to adhere. You could always put a bit of super glue uh, in an area and then sprinkle or then put the two pieces together and sprinkle baking soda around it to kind of cheat the fit. But do that as you're attaching it to the hag. If you do it before you attach to the hag, it won't fit uh, depending on where you put it. So this this piece was honestly one that sort of slowed me down a little bit last week and I had to really search out. But there is a little key fit for that piece right on the bottom side here, the bottom um, left hand side of the screen. Right it's now. not made any easier by the fact that no, it is clear. It's clear makes it so tricky. Yeah, so you are you are definitely not alone. No, that was a thing that make me go hmm moment too. Mm -hmm. So not on you at all. Yeah. Um. Also, I did see someone had said something very nice about humble bundle. Let me go back and uh find that. Do do do. Going back into chat. Oh, yeah. Martin was very nice and put the Humble Bundle link yes, in I chat. Oh, yes. That. Uh, T th thank you, Martin. Martin also grabbed that from TS Forest. I am a huge fan of Humble Bundle. They are an authorized Steam reseller, and every purchase is not only discounted, but helps a charity. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've been able to get some really good deals uh, through Humble Bundle a bunch of times. <laughs> and so where... <laughs> what? <laughs> The deliberate humble, humble. bundle. <laughs> there's a lot of words and things that there's, just, you know, you have lot. to. Yeah. And you just have to start saying them with um, mm -hmm. careful diction, um, yes. you know. And so humble bundle is just now going to be one of those words. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a little too much. Nope. Nope. That was not dry brushing. That was painting. Uh oh, that's all right. That's Oops. that's what the water's for. Yeah, thinning out a little bit. I'm amazed at the detail they get in these hands. Yeah, they are so small, and then and go lightly so much over these arms and fingers and everything. These are a bit more delicate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to use a lot of pressure. It's it's better to go lightly over a few times with feather light strokes than to be forced to dislodge an arm and doom <laughs> away it goes we went through so it's a much handless hag to get that arm. i mean not that that would be bad that would no, totally be would, in no. in line with hags but still i i like having those hands i don't I want it to be a handless hag. i don't want to lose a hand um yeah. Let's see. Edie Zig is asking about a time gate. They want to know Jahira, Narak, or Jim. Um, so I'm trying to think of something. I'm gonna say, yeah. So Jahira got reworked recently because uh, Jahira is part of the um the season two update that just happened on Wednesday. Um. Man, all three of them are, are good for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I would say Jahira just because you have season two starting up next week. Yeah, I'd say Jahira or Narak. Mm -hmm. uh, Narak, if only because Narak's a little bit easier to to deal with in a formation, whereas Jim, Jim takes some finagling in order to get the most out of Jim, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but I, I do kind of prefer my champions when they can just get slotted in and do the thing. So that'd be my suggestion. But really, like those, all three of those are going to be good. Yeah. Uh, gelatinous Rubik's Cube wants to know, is is the humble bum bundle, <laughs> see what you did there on uh, Gelatinous Rubik's Cube, uh, just for Steam, I don't see an epic option. Just for Steam only for this go around. Uh, we're hoping to explore doing something for both humble and epic in the future. Um, but yeah, we're just focusing on Steam right now. Uh, so, no, you aren't misreading that. Yes, usually it is more than that. But, uh, you know, things happen, stuff happens. So we're working with what we got at the moment. <laughs> yep. You know, and, and just like we've done uh, with discounts that are platform specific, we always mm -hmm. try to uh, 
move it around as much as possible yeah. so that everybody gets a chance to have something fun. Yeah. Um, time to fuse. Uh, let's see how how was uh two two zero zero? How do you get the free all star chest? Oh, so this weekend is. Uh -huh. Um, the all-star weekend and the free chest comes with the newsletter. So you have to sign up for the newsletter. Now, here's the thing. I know when people say sign up for the newsletter, everybody's initial reaction is, I don't want to sign no. up for the newsletter and get all kinds of spam. And blah, blah. Right. I promise. I promise you're going to get one newsletter from us a week, maybe every once in a while, a second one. Mm -hmm. And all that's going to happen is you're going to be told about the weekend buffs and you're going to get a code for a gold chest. That's it. We're not sending you 3 billion messages. And if you sign up for the newsletter and you're new to the game, you'll also get a code for Hitch. So you get a mm -hmm. lot of stuff out of our newsletters. And like I said, I promise we do not spam your inbox. Uh, so go ahead and sign up for our newsletter and you will not only get Hitch, but you will get that... Uh, that gold chess code for the this weekend's this weekend's weekend update. I'll start. Weekend. I sorry, my my no, brain just stopped working. <laughs> my gingerbread person just ran away from me. <laughs> yeah, well, my brain just ran away from me. But you know, uh, what I mean. you know, brains are good at doing that. I will say, especially, especially during this time of year. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, that just ran, ran, ran as fast as it can, and I can't catch it. Where'd and you, you said we're not doing the candy cane, but we are doing the cauldron. We are doing the ginger, no, we're doing the gingerbread person, uh, but not the candy cane in the culture. We're going to use a different color for that dry brushing. Okay, then, then I'm good, then I'm good. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's see. Bookish Oddish wants to know, uh, they have a choice between Artemis, Turiel, or Xander. Ooh, I'm gonna say Artemis? Because Artemis, while they take a little bit of, of work, are they're a really powerful DPS. I mm. think you're going to find them very, very useful. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I, think, I think if I do any more, it's going to be painting. Yep. Yep. That is fair. Okay. So we're going to let that dry for a little bit for the hag and the um, gingerbread person. We're going to go to bone white. No, not bone white. Dead white. Again, these are okay. all Vallejo paints that we're using, but um, dead white's a pure white, basically. And we're going to use that for the cauldron and for the candy cane. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is one of those that my my, my white is actually getting um, low oh. enough that you can actually yeah. hear the shake-up ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> it amuses me so. Trust All right, we're just doing again. straight dead white with just the Just straight dry dead white, lightly uh, dry brush the cauldron. On um, the cauldron part, not the spell effects part. Okay. And doing the same thing on the candy cane, on the texture of the candy cane to bring out details on that one. So I'm going to go in here. Candy cane. Let's see. These tiny, tiny little candy, tiny little candy cane. I've just decided that today is a day in where I'm just going to have paint all over my hands for a little while and it's okay. That's it's cool. easy to wash off. It's these, totally cool. These tiny little pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's keep going with the questions. Foxy Raven says, hello there. I just started playing the game yesterday. Hey, Yay. welcome. Glad to have you over the holidays mm -hmm. and beyond. Uh, I have a question. How do I unlock more characters besides the basics? Ah, excellent question. There are a bunch of ways that you can get a bunch of different characters, uh, champions for our game. Um, I just talked about one. If you sign up for the newsletter, you will get Hitch. That's that's the code that you will get right away is a code to unlock Hitch. Um, beyond that, the way most champions are available in the game is basically in two ways. One is through an event that happens. We do events every three-ish weeks. They start on a Wednesday and run for a week and a half. So basically for that week to the next week to the Monday. And during those events, you will be able to unlock three different champions. Uh, two who were available the la last year and the year before during that event. 
and one who is brand, brand new. So if you were here when we were talking about Imowen coming to the game, Imowen is our uh, is our new champion coming for the Winter Shield event. Um, so that event will start on Wednesday, and you can unlock three different champions. And so every event, you'll get a chance to unlock some. And then we have a thing called Time Gates, which the Time Gates are things you can open up basically all the time. You'll get Time Gate pieces for them uh, dropped on a regular basis, and there's there's some other ways to get them. And Time Gates are a way to unlock champions that you've missed. So you said you started yesterday. So we just had an event that happened a week and a half, two weeks ago, something like that, in where the new champion was War Duke. And so if you would like to unlock War Duke, you can open up a time gate and you can use your time gate pieces. And it basically lets you go through War Duke's adventures to unlock War Duke. And all of that is available in the game uh, just through playing the game. You don't have to spend any money. It's all just available. It takes a little while. Uh, if you put in the the work, you can there's some guides out there, especially mm -hmm. uh, on the subreddit. And I, I I can't remember if Garwar has a specific guide, but there's some guides out there about like how to do that super fast. Because even with a hundred champions, yes. you can do it pretty pretty fast. Okay. So and once I see you're... we've gone on going to Bone, Bone White. White. Gonna go with Bone White and go back to the Hag and the Gingerbread Boy for one more round of dry brushing on them. Um, and, oh, hi. My Bone White is ready to come out and play. Hi. <laughs> Slow down there. I was about to call it sir. I'm like, no, I'm not going to say sir to a paint. <laughs> nope. You are not a paint. All right. So <laughs> Bone White is going on the hag and the yep. gingerbread. And the gingerbread Why am I, person. I'm knocking everything over. I'm doing the same thing. And I'm changing it up. I'm pulling the paintbrush when I do the dry brushing in a downward motion now to act like highlighting lights on it. So before okay. I was kind of dragging it up. I also have a lovely cat hair stuck there. So now I'm going to go in the reverse and do this. Pull it in the right. direction. And as I start on that, so just to get back to your question real quick uh, for Foxy Raven. Um, yeah, if you do have any questions about unlocking champions, um, orders of champions, if you're looking for specific champions because you're like, hey, I really like the Rivals of Waterdeep and so I want to mm -hmm. be able to collect them all, um, definitely, let me grab the drink, come to our Discord, discord.gg slash idle champions. Mm. Lots Ooh. of people there are more than happy to help you and give you advice. Uh, and then, yeah, have fun over the holidays just playing the game and playing around in the game. There's there's no uh, there's no wrong answers, basically. If you try something mm -hmm. out and the game is it, it's a little too hard for you at that point, you'll still be earning stuff. You'll still be earning uh, favor and gems and everything. So don't be afraid to just try stuff out and have some fun with the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, but the this dead white wants to wants to paint instead of uh, highlight. Ooh, it's I, I'm having a harder time getting just the right amount of uh, dry brushing going. It on. might be your why. brush was still slightly damp if you rinsed it. Uh, maybe, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, if you had a little bit more water than you realized, it can kind of encourage things to sink in lower and not be as no pun intended dry. Um, mm. Go in. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gelatinous Rubik's Cube is back with a question. Time gate suggestion, please. Uh, Walnut, Evelyn. I already have the third choice, and thanks. Humble bundle. I I see you writing bumble. I see you trying to get me Stop. saying it. Ooh, Walnut or Evelyn? Both of those are real good. Yeah. Um, do you? Yeah, they're both tanks. They're both, they're both real good. Uh, who do you have less champ? Who, what slot do you have less champions in? Yeah. And if that answer is they're the same, um, who sounds more fun? Are you more interested <sighs> yeah. in a paladin or a druid? Because really both of them are real good. They're part of a very similar kind of affiliation. Um, they just had a whole bunch of cool skins come out because of being yeah. in Hunger of the Far Realms. Like... Those are two, that, that's a hard, hard choice. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. You can't go wrong because it's they're both fun and 
I mean, we could pull yeah. it. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Martin is, is making some very good points in our backstage document. I use Walnut more than Evelyn because slot five is such a competitive slot, which is absolutely mm, that's true. That's true. That's another thing that I, I don't bring up very often, but is a good thing to think about is like, all right, do you have a slot that you've got other champions in that it's either, yeah. uh, like they said, a competitive slot or is a slot that you just have other champions in that you prefer to use and then go for the other slot. The goal in the end is always to, to get everybody. But while, yeah. when you're still going through the process, then that's that's a good way of whittling it down. But yeah, both of them are real good and and so close because they're both tanks. Yeah. They're both, uh, yeah, oof. Also, um, Martin reminded us that the Winterfest Cridal code is also still active. I don't have that code off the top of my head, uh, but that was the code that was given on right. Wednesday during the uh, the big day of streaming that will unlock Cridal and a whole bunch of Cridal stuff. Um, there we go. I figured we still had that in chat. So check out chat for uh, Winter Fest 22, as in 22. That is going to expire on December 21st. So go ahead and use that code and that will get you Cridal, a Cridal uh, slot three rare shiny, uh, three time gate pieces, a huge potion of speed, and one huge potion of clairvoyance, which is those those are juicy, juicy potions. Mm -hmm. And also if you're new to the game, uh, don't be like me. Don't hold on to your potions forever and ever. Go ahead and use them. Even even if you think, well, I don't need one of these big ones right now. I'm going to restart or I'm going to reset this adventure super fast. Use them. They, they do no good sitting in your inventory. <laughs> Trust me. I know. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. All right, gingerbread. Here we All go. All right. Sweet. We're moving along beautifully. Yay. Huzzah. There it is. All right. Next, we're moving on to silver. And this is where we're going to start dry brushing our spell effects with silver. Ooh. Oh, yeah. To highlight the those is... edges. The silver helps uh, the spell effects pop a little bit more when we go and do the wash treatments. We've done this in the past before. Yeah. I just got to finish up the... Yeah. The feet and the gingerbread man, woman, run, person. Run, run. See, I keep going back to run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I also kind of oh, wish that I had some bodies. gingerbread cookies now. You know, I haven't had gingerbread in a very long time. Right? Oh. Come on, don't do not do that. Okay, silver, there, there we go. Silver paint. <laughs> Ow. Silver paint. I'm being attacked by my own. They uh, like to do that. <laughs> the paper plate is attacking me. Okay, Come silver paint. And so spell yep. effects. Yep, just dry brush across the edges of the spell effects. Again, I, I, I stuck these into the blue tack. And so you have to be very careful and gentle when you do this because they're easier to wobble out. Mm. But this is I'm a just... step I I really do not recommend skipping because in my humble opinion, ah, 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 um, it's actually quite a lovely one to incorporate into getting more of the details out on these clearer plastic pieces, especially yeah. for the magical aspect. Whereas I'm, I'm just holding these in my hand. I'm yeah. just going to hold them. Hold your hand. Uh, and I will just have uh, silver fingertips for there a little go. bit. And I'm okay with that. See, so here's the difference. Here's the one with some silver on it. And there's the one without the silver. You can mm -hmm. see just from doing that, you're getting more of those details popping out. Yeah, it's one thing to be clear. And it's another thing to not be able to see anything. Yeah. So, and by dry brushing. Balance. Yeah. And by dry brushing with a metallic paint. They naturally tend to be more transparent themselves. The paints are more translucent, I should say. Um, so the dry brushing will deposit the pigments, especially the metallic flex, to sort of enhance the light play. But it won't make this plastic go opaque. So you still get the light able to play through and do the fun effect things you want to have happen. Yeah, especially the silver. Every time I've yeah. pulled up the silver, I'm like, this is so see-through. It's so, so cool. Yeah, it really is a neat little trick. Okay, 
Vitamin. I promise I will look back at chat for questions in a moment, but <laughs> I'm I'm tr I'm all into trying. It's a little hard to see as I'm dry yeah. brushing with the silver on the clear, and so I'm very focused yeah. at the moment. Very fair, very very fair. And then there's that spell effect on the cauldron. Don't forget. Yeah. Grab you. All right. Well, I'm grabbing um. And it's okay, actually, if you get some silver here where it attaches, because that mm -hmm. will, as we do a wash over, kind of give it a glowing effect Ooh. of where the spell would be sort of reflecting off the pot itself. So the, that silver will play underneath the wash we're going to do on the cauldron as well. Oh, and we did get an update from Gelatinous Rubik's Cube, who says they've, uh, if I'm understanding this right, they've got uh, four champions in slot, in walnut slot, and three mm -hmm. in Evelyn. So I'm going to say go for Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Your count just made the decision for you. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, we've also got uh, Dano and Toro. I am brand, brand new to mini painting. Hey, welcome. Hello and welcome. Yay! Love Welcome it. to um, the final episode of 2022, but we will be back in 2023 at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. um, is there a mini painting 101 episode I should watch? Oh yes, the mic go ends. to yeah, go to yep. our YouTube, um, the the Codename Entertainment YouTube. We've got two of them. Yeah, um, the Codename Entertainment YouTube is the one where all of the paint and slay episodes are housed. There's a whole playlist of them. I'll go ahead and I I think it's still youtube yeah, yeah there we go so the uh the one that's cne games has the uh, the playlist of our shows and we did our literally our first and our second episode mm -hmm. were myconids and literally our first and second episode were it's not the first time i've ever painted minis but certainly the first time i sat down with somebody who knew what they were doing to teach me how to paint minis so there is a lot of really good yep there they are they're so cool yeah they're so good so yes highly recommend that um v is very good about giving a lot of advice uh both for beginners and for people who have been mini painting for a while and then v also has a whole youtube channel full of of Ooh. advice and a um, library of uh, tutorials and stuff <laughs> yeah libraries thank you mini and uh terrain painting and creation actually if you want to build some terrain i got a video for that a lot of different terrain pieces um okay so now that you we have a wash. that done yeah, we want the Nuln oil. If you made, if you don't have your Nuln oil yet, then you want to take some no, black I and don't. mix some water okay. um, and make a black broth, basically, to paint onto the cauldron. Yeah, for those that do not have a wash or um, are like me and spilled your wash all over the table, uh, you can make a wash using yeah. the paint that you want the wash to be based on and a lot of water. Yep. A lot, a lot, a lot of water. And so I'm just doing that with oh, the black wow. right now. Yep. And I'm just going in with, I, I'm a Citadel wash girl. Um, so I very much like the Citadel shades. So I'm just going in with their classic Nuln oil, which is basically a black wash. And I'm painting it onto the cauldron itself. You can see it's kind of giving it more of a cast iron effect. Oh yeah. And we'll we'll go in and we'll detail the handle and this little maduder soon. But we want to get maduder? that wash on first. Yeah, the little face. My dude. The little maduder. My duder. I like that. Yeah. I use some real technical terms, I tell you. Hey, listen, I knew exactly what you were talking about, and yeah. so you succeeded. But um once this dries a little bit, you'll see what I mean about the glowing. I mean, it's kind of doing it right now. You can see right there and the way the light's catching, how that kind of yeah. makes the pot looks like it's glowing. Fun little detail. Yeah. Oh, so wow, yeah, we got a lot that. of questions. We do. I love how chat is chatty today. Yeah. Um, Crazy Matt Captain asks, with the holidays starting, is there someone keeping an eye on tickets throughout the holidays? Uh, yes. So even though we are going to, the Twitch channel is going to be dark 
and uh, a lot of the normal stuff that we do, uh, there won't be any uh, Reddit Q and A's. There, there will be very, very few social posts, that kind of thing. And a lot of people are going to be taking time off. Um, but there will still be people keeping an eye on things in general and also uh, tickets in specific. So absolutely, if you have an issue or a problem or a bug, please go ahead and still submit uh, because there are going to be people just because we're all going on break. We're making sure that we're still keeping an eye on things. Yeah. And I see that you've Um, gone to going to the hags here. Now, with this, you want to be careful. You're going to work around the horns. Um, but get the Nuln oil on the hag's hair and take it on the back of the hair and down the braids, avoiding the face and the horns. Okay. That's how we're doing that. Avoiding the face and the horns, but down yeah. the braid. Got yeah. it. And I'm also I'm also working with a number one round, a narrow round b- brush um, to give me some more control. I may even move to a detail brush soon to help me get into the finer points without overloading. Yeah. But we're going to put our first layer of Nuln oil into the hair. That sounded very much like what you would do with a hag. I don't know why, right? but we're going to put our first layer of Nuln, especially since it sounds like gnome oil, even though it right. isn't. I mean, you know. it does really sound creepily appropriate. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um. The Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, and don't worry when you're coming down the braids. It's okay if you get it onto those bands. Those bands are going to paint later on with a little bit of gold, so it's okay to get uh, black wash on those. Cool. Um, we did get a question from The Verge Zero One. How do I sign up for the newsletter? I'm on the CNE site and Idle Champions homepage. Aha! Best way to actually sign up for the newsletter is in the game. If you um, in the game, if you go to the main menu, there should be a way to sign up for the newsletter directly from the game. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of just the best way to go mm-hmm. about it. Uh, and yes, Wolf's Bane, I just saw that in chat. We're saying uh, N-U-L-N. N-U-L-N. Noln. Yeah. Noln. Noln. Not well. gnome with the G as in a, a D&D creature, but right. Noln. Yeah. That's another one of those words that just needs very, very careful pronunciations. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not having fun eggnog while we're painting. <laughs> Ooh, that does sound I good. I, I have been trying to find some really, real chat, help. I'm looking for really yummy dairy-free eggnog. I have not had luck. The silk Ooh. stuff just does not taste right for me. It has like this weird film in your mouth after you drink. I don't like the silk replacement yeah. stuff. If you are a person who must be dairy-free like moi and have found a really yummy eggnog replacement, please let me know. Uh, me too, <laughs> because while I... I am. Uh, I don't need a dairy replacement. I have been uh, avoiding cheese for uh, a variety of reasons. So definitely let me know as well, um, especially for you know those moments in where you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a bunch of eggnog and and mix in some other things. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm. I I had to stop for a second because I was trying to get at the hair oh, in so between okay. the horns. Yeah. So suddenly I had to stop time. talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a focus time piece. I am going to do a little bit onto that little pendant, too, right here on the chest. Also, just so you know, your camera went out. Of, oh, there we it's go. It's because of um, OBS. The update has been having some fun here. Mm. So I'm going to bring it back into focus where I can. It's um, If I do an automatic focus, it starts strobing. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not good. So I'm working yeah. with I'm going to pause and point things out and put things in better focus. But every so often, it is just going to naturally go out of focus for a little bit. Okay. Will deal. Yeah. Um, Kayleth okay. Marin wants to know, favorite holiday movie you never get tired of watching? Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh. oh. Uh, I love I, Actually. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Mine, mine I, I will admit, I don't watch a lot of movies. And because I am uh, both, I have both Jewish and Christian roots in my family, mm-hmm. uh, I don't necessarily have a ton of of christmas yeah. traditions to pull from but the muppet christmas carol is the best yeah yeah so i'm gonna move on to the drakenhoff nightshade right. from citadel it's that lovely blue one um so sure i got that one we're gonna do a very light coat on the hag skin and remember how i said it's good to save those extra bits and pieces of minis when you do assembly stuff this is from the beholder from the frameworks line that i had an extra piece of so i did this as 
test mm. runs. Um, so we're going to create this purplish skin effect using washes. And I already did a test run. So the skin's going to end up looking terrifying like this, this fleshy purple. Um, but we're going to start and for that those of us with the... that need to make this Drakenhof nightshade, what color should we use? Ooh, uh, you want to aim for a darker blue. So you'll probably need to take your ultramarine. All right. And add a little bit of, you might want to accelerate with you. Um, do you have, question, do you have the Caraburg Crimson? The red uh, wash. I, I do. Start with that then and do a light coat, light coat of that. Okay. So yours will have more of a, um, no, because if we do, yeah, if we do the nightshade over, if we do the, um, black wash at the end over that it'll mute it down so yeah do the caribou crimson okay and but do a light coat at a time um, crimson. there we go all right and remind me again so we're putting this on everywhere where else there's skin where there's skin where there's on the hag skin. Yeah. yeah so the arms and the face of the hag okay and you want to make sure you're not overloading your brush even if you have to like i just blotted to pull some wash off my brush because I don't want this to be too thick. I want it just to be a touch of the color being put on. And I know this this red looks different than that blue, but I'm I'm actually kind of digging the red. Perfect. That that bloody look. Yeah. Forgot how um, jolly she is. Uh, Foxy Raven has another question. Hey, keep them coming. We're glad mm -hmm. to help. Um, and, and also I'm sure chat has been answering these questions because chat is always happy to help. So even if it takes V and I an extra moment or two to get to your question, I'm sure chat has already oh, answered, yeah. but Foxy Raven wants to know what happens if I die? I'm assuming you're talking about the game. <gasps> I have been playing it real safe so far because I don't know what happens if I die when I have auto run on. Here's the good news. It's not a big deal. If your champions have died and uh, basically at first what will happen is you'll go back one area and you'll stay there because the game yeah. will say, ah, if your champions have died, then you have uh, progressed as far as you can go at the moment. And so we'll put you back one area and then you'll hang out there. Mm -hmm. And maybe there'll be things that you want to do if you need to um, level up your champions, if you can do that. Uh, if there's other things that you can do if you if you'd like to add potions or other things you can do that uh or if you if your champions have all been defeated and turned back you can just complete the adventure and gain uh the favor that you'll earn from doing the adventure even if it says hey you were supposed to get to area 50 and you haven't gotten there yet um it's okay go ahead and say complete the adventure because what's happened is you've hit your wall, which basically means this is as far as you can currently go with the champions you have, with the gear you have, with the favor in the campaign that you have. And when you reach that point, go ahead and complete the adventure and then either start it over again or start another one. And what mm -hmm. happens is uh, every time you restart, because you'll have gained gems that you can spend on chests for your gear. You'll have gained favor in that event, which will make your champions level up faster and get stronger. Um, you'll have access to just more stuff. Then the next time you do that run, you'll get a little bit farther and a little bit farther. Yeah. Um, so the, the whole, yeah, the whole point of this game uh, is to just kind of have fun. There's, there's not really anything you can do that's going to be screw anything up you know it's yeah. it's all just have some fun try some things out and then yeah if you're stuck at an area i highly recommend don't sit there a long time uh don't try to grind your way through or anything once you kind of hit that point go ahead and just say complete yeah. and try it again yeah or try okay. something else if there's another adventure so while that glaze dries not the glaze, the wash rather, we're going to make a glaze, got ahead of myself, uh, with the uh, ba -bum, burnt red, which is almost burned off the top there. Going to take some burnt red and mix in some water with that one. And you want this to be as thin almost as a wash, Lauren. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a nice 
dollop of the burnt red and just keep adding water to that. That's the Yeah. Burnt red's like the dark or, uh, Merlot color. I don't know why I want dark red to be darker than burnt red. I don't, it's just something about my, mm. my brain just wants dark to be darker than burnt. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know if it's fair, but it's me. And so every time no, you're like, that's what I mean. Like dark. It's, it's fair. That's where your brain's going. That's where your brain's going. That's how my brain is doing. Yeah. Okay. So almost wash like. Yeah, because we're gonna use this as a glaze on the tunic. And I just I'm gonna test this on myself. It's still a little thick. Water and water and water. Let's try that. All right, I think that Ooh. that looks a little thicker than a wash. I'm all the moss. Let's see. I think I've already got all over my hands. I'll go ahead and test two. Oh, that's looking like where I want it to be now. Yep, there we go. See the difference? This was too thick and this got thinned out. And now you can see the grooves yeah. in my wrists better. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I got lost in an uh, Instagram reel of like little kids say the darndest, darndest, darndest things type of reels. Um, and there was this little girl whose face is covered in chocolate. And you can hear the parent going like, so why don't you tell me what happened? And the little girl says, I ate some ramen noodles and I tried to wash it off. And you hear the mom's voice go with some chocolate. And the little girl goes, yep. <laughs> And I just started dying. I'm like, that's just too cute. <laughs> so when you hear me going, yep, that's exactly yep. what I'm thinking of right now. Okay, so once you get that thinned out, we're going to put this along the tunic and the shoulder piece. So basically up on the shoulders here, making sure you okay. avoid that rope there and bring it down the body. Um, and hold on, did I do anything for the sash? Avoid the sash here. So this piece around the waist, Okay. Okay. That between here and here, avoid that. That we're going to do a different color. So it's the upper portion here, and then mm -hmm. the skirt is basically what's happening. Okay. okay. All right. I'm just going to put this glaze onto the skirt and stuff. And meanwhile, I will go back to Mad Hatter. Did I just get all over my mouse? Maybe. Um, question, not really a question. But I wanted to thank you, thank both Lauren and V. Aw, I've painted models for years, but you gave me the confidence to start painting my Hero Quest game minis Yay. and all the expansions. So thank you both. Aw. That's awesome. That's, that is amazing. I'm so glad that that you dove back in mm -hmm. and that you're you're having fun because yeah. That's that's half the fun of this. So yeah. congratulations and and thank you. That is that is a very high compliment. It's fantastic uh, to hear. I love hearing people yeah. getting pulled back in and enjoying it again. Um, and uh, definitely, if if you or anybody else has gotten into mini painting, um, even if you're not doing our minis, if you're doing your own minis like those Hero Quest minis, and want to show off, come to, an, uh, I'll drink in a second, come to our Discord, and we have a whole Paint and Slate channel where you can show off what you've been doing uh, and mm -hmm. how things have been going, because I, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I love to see it. It is super cool. Oh, jeez. How am I supposed to get that little bit under the braids? That's going to be exciting. It is going to be a pain in the butt. It's going to be a pain in the armpit. <laughs> I'll deal with that in just a second. Let's get over the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, Nateza asks, if I may ask, always, should I go with Ayla, Egbert, or Wolfgar? I started playing three days ago, so I'm very new and clueless. Ah, welcome. Uh, I would greatly appreciate help picking. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, ooh, okay. So Ayla was just part of season one, mm -hmm. which... Uh, so Ayla got an, a nice little buff and uh, update and is part of the Heroes of Arois. So that's kind of a fun uh, collection of champions that you definitely want to try to get into, you know, at some point. 
Um, Egbert is the tank for um, the Ox Ventures Guild. So if if you're looking for a fun tank for Ox Ventures, uh, if you're looking for a, a fellow dragonborn, which is always something that I'm looking for, um, then then Egbert's a lot of fun. And then Wolfgar, you know, actually, they're all three of them are kind of tanky yeah. tanks. Yeah, that's that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think all three are cool. Um, if here's a couple of questions that you can answer for yourself that will help pick one. Are are you interested in any of the group that I just mentioned? You know, are you excited about playing with the champions from the Heroes of Aroas? Are you excited about playing with the Ox Ventures? Um, then go ahead and pick the champion that is part of that. Um, if you if you would like to uh nope. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to say if if one of those three doesn't help, I'm going to say go with Ayla because Ayla just got that nice update with being in season one. Um, and so I think having her, she she's a fun champion. Being able to stun is real good. She's a tank, but she's also, she can kind of go anywhere in the formation. You don't have to put her up front, which is real nice. So I'd say Ayla. But to be honest, and this is, this is kind of the answer for all, Almost, uh, you know, any of the, do I go for this, this, and this? Eventually, you're going to want to unlock everybody. So there's no wrong answers here. If you if you pick a champion uh, to unlock in a free time gate weekend, you're never wrong. You may have picked something that other people wouldn't have picked first. But because the idea is eventually you want to unlock everybody, you're never wrong with who you pick. Mm -hmm. But that'd be my suggestion is Ayla. I'm sure chat had other ideas. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right. Um uh Becky's uh Setch. I almost said sketch. Mm -hmm. But Becky Setch. Question. Mm -hmm. I love these streams. Oh, thank you. Never been into minis and I'm crappy at painting in general, but I can't stop watching these. Amazing. Aw. Well, here's here's the good thing. I'll get to your question in a second. Here's the good thing. Like, I'm brand new with this. And I say that having been doing this show now for 53 episodes the joy of this is are you having fun doing it and mm -hmm. are you proud of you know what you've done afterwards even even if you look at it and you're like oh you know i i should next time i'm gonna do this a little better next time i'm gonna do that a little better uh if you had fun that's all that matters and every once in a while i'm like ah i've learned how to do this better um, I've gotten better at dry brushing, and now this thing that I've dry brushed, I'm I'm really proud of the fact that I'm better at dry brushing, and now I'm going to work on this technique and get better at that. So that's kind of the important bit. Uh, mm -hmm. But let me get to your actual question, which is with the free time gates. Just wondering your thoughts on Barrowin, Walnut, or Melf. Um, four and four in there, three of this. Okay. So you got four others in the Barrowin slot. You got three others in the Walnut slot and three others in the Melf slot. I'm going to say Walnut. I'm going to say Walnut. Um, Walnut, for the same reason that it was so hard to pick between Walnut and Evelyn from earlier. Uh, just a fun tank. Recently had a whole bunch of fun things happen because uh, Walnut was featured in Hunger of the Far Realms. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, go go for Walnut. Walnut is a joy. Go nuts. Get a walnut. Also, also her ultimate is absolutely yeah, amazing. It's fun. So it is absolutely worth getting walnut if only for her ultimate in order to see all the critters run across the screen. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that takes care of the tunic. Now, we're going to take orange brown and dark vermilion, and we're going to create the color for the sash. All right, I'm going to be there in just a second. I got to do some sure. poking around the braids. Poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. Okay. Uh, you said orange. Orange brown. Yep. Orange brown. Like equal dollops orange brown and dark vermilion, which is the brighter red from the kind of <laughs> The one that I want to make dark. The one you're like, why? <laughs> why do? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Here we go. 
Uh, why aren't you opening? You're gonna open. Uh oh. Good. Ah, there we go. Careful, careful. careful yeah, careful. I know. Every time, every time, I, I, it makes me nervous. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, these are these are definitely ready to go after this paint, because yeah. we're adding water. It's sort of like, eh, we're adding water to these anyways, so I'm not as concerned. But yeah, yeah, mine is. At least my orange is absolutely ready to. Uh, oh no! This is going to be its last hurrah. Yep. Let me put it that way. That's just it. That's what I was fully expecting of these. I'm like, okay. I get one more use before we say ta ta. Yeah. Ta ta. Bye bye. Oh yeah, yeah. My <laughs> my orange brown is is a thick. It it's super thick. It's zesty. Ugh. Blech. All right, so we're mixing those two, and then are we watering them down at all? Yep, or is we're doing painting? a glaze. Nope, we're definitely making ah. these a glaze as well. Awesome. All right, I'm going to close you two before you cause trouble. <laughs> Will, I see mm -hmm. it happening. Mm -hmm. I see it coming. I see a bad moon rising. I don't know. I see a bad pink pot rising. Right? There's a night hag on the right. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think I got close to your color. Kind of a brighter than the red that we were already doing, right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And again, just a thin coat of this onto the body. Um. Let's see before I grab that. SLM 493 for my free time gate. I have every champ going for epics. Strix only need needs one epic, but not guaranteed in the next three chests. Or Artemis, who only has one, but the next chest is guaranteed an epic. Ooh. Um, how how much are you itching for an epic? Are 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 you what'll make you happy? Do you need to have an epic right now in order to uh be happy? And you know what? If the answer is yes, it's okay. It's a game. You know, if you're if you're like mm -hmm. it's a Friday, it's been a long month. I could really just use some instant gratification. Then go go for the the Artemis, who you know you're gonna get one in the next in the next chest. Uh, but if you're not, but if you're willing to wait, if if you're like, no, nah, you know, I'm I'm doing okay. I can I can roll the dice and see what happens. Then go for Strix. Those are my suggestions. See see where you are, how you feel about your game, about uh, what's going to make you happy in this moment, and go for it. Are we avoiding the uh, hmm? cord? There we go. Yes. Words. The um, That little bit right there, do you mean? Uh, oh, well, actually, no, I'm talking about on her right side like under where her arm not directly under her armpit but going down like above the knee below the armpit yeah, yeah. that yeah no. no okay okay that's just sort of fold in the fabric type of thing i'm okay with that mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't worry, I'm coming, chat. I'm just taking care of an armpit. Until we're focusing because we get really quiet. Yeah. We both go quiet. It's like, yep, this is a focus spot. <laughs> One moment, mm -hmm. please. Thank you for watching Paint and Slay. We appreciate your patronage. Please stay <laughs> tuned while your painters <laughs> figure out their high detail areas. <laughs> If you would like to be called back by a painter, please mm -hmm. leave your Twitch name. No, don't. <laughs> You'd like to ask I will a say question. I, I, can, I, I will say I have appreciated those uh, call centers or customer service centers that do that. That are like, mm -hmm. you know, hey, you can stay on hold or we'll we'll call you back. Yeah. Like I've I've actually been very impressed with how well that's worked. That that just worked very well for me for uh, changing around flights when oh, flights good. got fukakud over got flighty. <laughs> flights. You know, Seattle decided to pretend it was Buffalo, and so flights got canceled. 
That was so bizarre. To... Oh God, it was. So... It was. It was like the weather patterns for the two different areas swapped. Philadelphia decided it was going to be Seattle because it was like sixty degrees that day. Yep. And then Seattle's like, okay, we'll take over for the wintry mix stuff. We got gotcha. you. Yeah. And I I totally understand because there were people who were complaining like it's not that mm-hmm. much ice. I'm like, well, but you don't need much to make things go bad. It, yeah, exactly. And different areas can handle different weather better. Yep. Um, you know, Philadelphia, yo, they have those plows sitting at the airport ready to go with those salters and all that good stuff. They they know how to handle that type of weather. Weather. Yep. Weather. <laughs> weather. <laughs> that type of weather. You were just trying to say it in the Philadelphia way. Right? So, yeah, it it definitely, I was not surprised when that all went down. I'm like, oh, yep, mm-hmm. Delay to be safe. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Like, I'd rather my friends get there safely than not. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's disappointing, but mm-hmm. it's it's better than there being accidents and horrible yeah, things happening. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here is an interesting question that I'm not sure if I could accurately answer, but I'm sure someone can. Uh, Becky Setch asks for clarity. What is eggnog? They also have a dairy allergy. They've never had eggnog as it's not oh. really a thing here in the UK. Okay. So eggnog is this um, lovely dairy concoction that uses eggs and cream and different types of um, alcoholic uh, liquors that you could add for a variety of flavors and everything like that. And it's just this, it's almost like, I like to describe it as a melted vanilla milkshake with nutmeg and cinnamon added. It's kind of... A good way to explain it. It has a thicker mouthfeel to it, super creamy. Um, mm-hmm. and it's 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 not for everyone. I know people who can't stand the stuff, and there are people who adore it. Um, so yeah, it it's kind of like a vanilla milkshake that's been melted and warmed up, and you add things like rum and whiskey and or bourbon, depending on your recipe, to it. So that's what that is. Yeah. And now that you mention it, yeah, eggnog is one of those flavors that people, it is a love-hate kind of thing. Yeah. People either are super excited about it. it. It's not a flavor that most people are like, that most people are ambivalent about. Let me put it that yeah. way. Yeah, like see, um, Arcos Ren, ugh, it's vile. Cool. You don't like it? More for me as long as it's the dairy-free version. <laughs> there you go. Um, I've jumped over to Leather Brown. I'm going to create a glaze out of that and put that onto the pouch on the hip. Okay. So a little drop of, drop of leather brown. Leather brown. A couple drops of, actually it might be a drop to drop. We'll see. Yeah, a drop of water to a drop of leather brown should do it. I'm going to do a thin layer of that on the pouch, which you can see has this lovely skull face thing happening on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. We'll add that. The important thing is to keep these glazes moving and not let them pull up too much. And this is going over the whole pouch, right? Mm Mm-hmm. The whole pouch. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Meanwhile, um, Few Squeaky asks, how much planning do you put into the color selection? Ooh, good question. Um, a lot, actually. I sit down before we do each of these episodes and I will sit there and create notes upon notes upon notes for how we're going to do things. Uh, I often will go towards reference photos. So I looked at the official art for this one and kind of pulled inspiration from that um, and work on incorporating those colors in. Uh, So yeah, I I give the color process and combinations a lot of thought ahead of time and the blending work, etc. Now, how different, I, I know we've talked about this before, but hey, mm-hmm. we got lots of new people in chat. And it's yeah. always good to talk about it again. Mm-hmm. How different is that because you are being an instructor on, you, on Twitch versus when right. you sit down to paint yourself? Very different, um, especially because we try and get you supplies ahead of time. I put a lot more thought into these minis instead of my, I'll sit down and kind of just literally have my paints in front of me and just snag and go and be like, mm, I want to work with this color. I want to work with that color. And just sort of riff off of what's being pulled together. I mean, that's honestly how uh, 
our adored Helen. Hi. She came Hi, together Helen. because I just started off like just, oh, let's try this. Let's try that. She was an experimental painting because I was playing D&D &D at the same time. Especially those pieces, I tend to focus a lot less on what I'm going to do with the colors and more like, eh, this looks good. Um, but there we go. That's the hip pouch all set and ready to go there. And then chugging along. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Splotch of brown. So now we're going to go towards that cork brown and use that to get the rope around the neck. Yeah, I'll use this orange. Start from the end. Where, where did I cork brown go? It's a it's sort of a tannish brown. So if you need to, you can take um, bone white and mix it with beastie brown. If you can't find your cork brown. I thought I had everything, but oops. Have a look. And I'm actually going to take my detail brush and run it across the top of this with just a very small amount of the paint on there. Oh, there we go. Found it. Found it. I just. Hadn't taken it out of the bag. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. All right. So, sorry. Uh, you said a little bit of cork brown and mm -hmm. what are we doing? Detail brush. After? And we're going after this cord around the neck and the cord it... that's on this thing down here. Okay. So see how there's a cord uh, is there? This... Hmm? Is this also a glaze or is this a paint? It is a dry brush. So keep the paint as is. Oh, okay. And see, just... This is what... Glide it along. This the top. is my challenge today is um retaining information, apparently. That's okay. It is it is that's that day where I'm like, okay, I'm looking for one thing and I've forgotten everything else that you said. Okay. Nah, that's cool. You're good. There's... A little bit that's of dry noticing. brushing. I need a little bit more of that glaze. Also, if you are just joining us from the game, because I just noticed it is uh, just after one o'clock, and so we probably got some more people coming from the game. Hi, and welcome. We're Hello. finishing up the night tag. If you do have any questions about painting or about idle champions or um, about your uh, free time gate weekend, go ahead and put those in chat. And you can put question in big capital letters before them, and the amazing mm -hmm. Martin will be grabbing them and Martin. putting them into our little backstage chat so we can answer them. And I'm, like I said, I'm sure also chat is having lots of fun answering those questions because everybody likes yeah. to have an Help. opinion on the champions. Help. Help. Okay. Oh, yeah, the cord goes all the way to yeah, that it goes all the way to the necklace pendant. thing. It does. Oh, jeez. Jeez. All the details. There's a lot of them. Mm. There's definitely a lot of them. Did I miss anything? Do, 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 do. Probably. But I'll keep going. <clears throat> ah, people are chatting about eggnog recipes in chat. There you and go. and yeah. I love eggnog, but it is also one of those flavors and one of those drinks that a little bit will do you. A little mm -hmm. bit is really all oh, you yeah. need. Yeah. And it's sometimes hard to find a small thing of eggnog. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Like, I don't want to buy two liters of eggnog. I want just like, I want a one liter or I want, you know, just, just enough yeah. to get a good drink from. Yep, um, exactly. I am also putting this on to that rope around the sack because my oh, glaze yeah. is just dried up. So I can go back in and do that now. Grab another paper towel. Oh yeah, we're going to go through a lot of paper towels today. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, Fedorin says, Ox Adventures ad for Egbert is how I found out about Idle Champions. It took a oh, while nice. to complete the collection of my affiliation, but now I have them. They are my primary gold find party. Yeah. Wee. That's that's a strong that's gold find party. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. They're Even fun. if you don't use the entire affiliation together, that whole party is... Uh, they're They're all about getting paid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is that's true. That's also a fun party to use with Warduke. It, it is a oh, challenging one, but it's a fun one. That's good to know. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my Caraburg Crimson. Um, in okay. your case, Lauren, you could do your uh, thinned out black wash, like a very thin black wash on this one. Make sure it's even thinner than before. Okay. And I'm going to add this back onto the hag skin to get more of a purplish tone going on is what I'm going to be doing. Because right now it looks very blue. So now I'm going to go in with the Caraburg Crimson and do a lighter layer. And this will give us more of the purplish look to the skin. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going with the washiest of black washes. Yeah. And what that'll do, it'll just cut down on the brightness of the pink tone, red tone that can happen with Caraburg. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm using my hand as my um, removal palette right now. I have a very festive ah. looking hand. Once again, easy to wash off. Oh, it especially is. if you get get to it pretty soon afterwards. Yeah. It's amazing what warm water and good soap will do for you. Mm -hmm. When it comes to latex based paints. All right. Okay, so now you can see the color difference with the one arm compared to the face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a huge difference. But it gives wow. you a really neat way to do a purple skin tone and still have it look more like flesh as opposed to a cartoon. I love using washes to create flesh effects and layering them and combining them because you can get some really neat details and combinations happening because skin naturally is modeled. Mm. So when you do this wash approach, you get a natural modeling between the colors blending and what's showing through with the highlights and everything, so it gets a more flesh-like flesh -like effect as a result. Oh, and also just trying to get uh, around the fingers mm -hmm. near that apple is a challenge. Yeah, that's where if you want to pop onto a detail brush, you might find that easier to do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm Gonna. I'm just going to do the other yeah. hand first. Okay. Totally fair. Um. Meanwhile, I, I did just see that in chat. Um, Plum Bob says, I installed Idol Champions moments ago while watching this stream. Yay! That, is this the, the most newest player we have ever had? I think had? so. That is awesome. Welcome. Um, where does one find open chests which contain good stuff? Ah, so I see that people have already helped out by putting the how to redeem chests in the chat. Awesome. Um, I'll also give a description for those of you who are listening, but not necessarily watching, you know, our, our lovely lurkers. If you're in the game and you look at the top left-hand side, you'll see some blue icons and one of them is a, a little chest. You click on that and it's going to take you to a screen where either you can open up chests you already have on the left-hand side, or at the bottom left, there's going to be a button that says uh, redeem code, I think it says. Redeem it says code, redeem yeah. something. Yeah. And that'll take you to an unlock screen that's going to look like literally a combination lock that you can either type in or scroll through or copy paste any of the codes that you find uh, into that space and it'll give you a chest. So for example, we've got that code right down there, last mini of 2022 if with the exclamation marks. So it's last mini of 2022 exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Those mm -hmm. are included in the code. Put that into that unlock screen and it will unlock an Electrum chest for you. And then we've got a bunch of other codes floating around in chat. Martin was real good about putting the Cridal chest in there. Um, if you come to our Discord, Discord will also tell you that discord.gg slash idle champions. Discord will also tell you of places you can go uh, to find chests because there's um, we've got third party shows that uh, are D&D &D games, although a lot of them are going on a little bit of a break for the yeah. holidays. You know, like Children of Verte. Um what is today? Today's Friday. Today's Friday. Yeah. Uh, Sunday will be the next one of those. Rivals of Waterdeep has their season finale this Sunday. And while you're mm -hmm. watching Rivals of Waterdeep, you can uh, get yourself an Electrum chest. So yeah. 
I hope that gives whoever is listening a, a brief overview of h- how to do the chest thing. How do... All right, I'm going to do another layer of... There it is. Uh, Nuln oil in the hair. Because I want to mm-hmm. deepen it just a touch more. So if you feel like your hair is dark enough, then you're fine. But I'm looking at mine, I'm like, no, I want it a slight bit darker. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go in and just do a little bit more Nuln oil on that area. I think I think I will join you in that. Okay. Go a little bit darker. Yeah, I'm happy with darker. That's the other thing I like about glazes and washes. You can build up your color layers gradually. Little can go a long way, and better to have yeah. too little than too much. Yeah, a lot easier to go back and, and do what we're doing right now, which is, mm-hmm. ah, I want this to be darker. Let's just add yeah. another layer. Yep. Remember, avoid the yes. horns. Especially now that we've done the the dress and the cloak and everything, which are, mm-hmm. um, which I saturated. like, which are bright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to darken the hair a little bit more. Avoid the horns. We're up. Um. Uh, K- uh, Kaylin LD, the uh, Discord is our Idol Champions Discord, which is discord.gg slash Idol Champions, which I, I will drink. I'm required to take a drink every single time I say it, um, which is good. Keeps me hydrated. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll drink that in a second. But yeah, if you come to that Discord, not only are there a whole bunch of channels and where you can chat with other fans of the game and get advice on formations and... Um, all sorts of stuff, but there is a channel that is specifically for combinations. And you can go there and catch up on a bunch of the combinations that have already happened. Um, and also I recommend, you know, check out the the people who post combinations. They do a very good job of saying where those codes have yeah. come from. Uh, Because there's podcasts out there and shows and all sorts of places where you can find those combos. And I highly recommend, if you can, check out those shows. Check out those podcasts. Let them know that, hey, uh, thanks for giving me a chess code for Idol Champions. And maybe you'll find a new show that you're excited Mm -hmm. to watch or listen to while you're playing. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely like having the two layers of the Nuln Oil on. That anteed it up to where I want it to be. Yeah. Okay. The cauldron, the cauldron I'm actually happy with with one layer. I'm good with that because that's got more of that cast iron look I want. Okay, so now we're so going to go in and I'm going to take my, no, no, no. Sorry, I have paint bottles flipping over on me. I'm going to take my, <laughs> sorry. Not for a second, the cats had arrived. <laughs> no, where's my Agrax earth shade? I'm going to wash the gingerbread person. So if you don't have Agrax and you want to do a uh, mix of probably the chocolate brown from the uh, Chimera kit, but Agrax will be my next wash. Agrax, I got. Sweet. I got the Agrax. The Agrax. All right. And we're doing the entire gingerbread mm-hmm. folk. Yep. All Which right. It's going to be interesting. Get my hand Let's just... See covered in in a brown wash yeah i'm okay with this and this is probably going to need a couple coats i can tell already just putting on the first layer but it'll give it a fun little cookie effect yeah once it builds up yeah because especially before it was it was a black and white cookie yeah, and while exactly. you know i i'm from the new york area so i'm all for a black and white but cookie they're good we, yeah we, they're super good they're but we kind of want a gingerbread yeah that's what we're going for here. I mean, you could arguably go in and do a glaze, just a straight up glaze with a dark brown if you wanted to, but what is that? That is a Tenacious Fuzzy. Oh, that's a cool band name. Tenacious Fuzzy. Yeah. Tenacious Fuzzy. All right. So what I'm gonna what look kind of chapter? Mad ska kind of music. Ska. Yeah. Like a ska band. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you were right there with it with an answer. Totally ska. A ska, ska band. Super ska. It's a ska band. <laughs> they open for Uncle Cracker. <laughs> I love it. Uh, my brain's on an unusual setting this afternoon, and I'm for it. <laughs> it is. It is. A, it's like you said. It is that last day before a holiday, before mm-hmm. before a lot of things. All yep. right. What's next? 
Okay, so now we're gonna go back to bone white and we're gonna work on these little bones that are dangling from that rope. And just very carefully with a detailed brush, paint those bones bone All white. Right. Shocker. And is this, uh, we're actually painting, this is not a glaze? That's dead white. Yeah, we're actually gonna paint carefully. Um, All right a thin layer of bone white on, because we want those to pop out a little bit more. Where's my tiny brush? There's my tiny brush. The itty bitty detail, detail brush. Okay. Little tip, you can use your thumbnail as a wet palette for a slight period of time if you want to remove, but then be able to go back and pull color. Oh, let's get these bones. Them bones, Just them something bones, you only get to say in D and D or during mini painting. Yep. Keep the bones or forensics. That's true. If you're watching a CSI show, you probably hear that on a regular basis. Yeah. Or maybe if you have a dog, get the dry bones. <laughs> Supposed to the slobber Actually, bones. yes. Now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. Supposed to the slobbery bones. Yeah, now we're gonna get real quiet. Hey, hey, yeah. chat, talk amongst yourselves. Talk um, amongst yourselves. Uh, candy canes, um, better as those giant sticks or better as the small little ones? Discuss. Oh, I have opinions on that one. I I figured people would have opinions. I have my or own usages. Opinion I should say mm. less less opinions and more usage. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, if if you haven't seen, because everybody's familiar with the, the basic candy cage shape. In fact, we've got one here that we're going to be painting. Mm -hmm. um, but there are those places and where you can get basically Gandalf's staff as a candy cage. Yeah. It's just this massive, thick staff. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, do you prefer the little one or do you prefer the giant one? Discuss. All right. I think, okay. I think I've got all the bones. Great. Then we're going to tap into gold, actual gold, and start doing some gold work. Yay. Polished gold. This is a color we don't get to use nearly mm. often enough. Mm -mm. No. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Again with your detail right. brush. And we have the bangle on the wrist, the bangles in the hair. And then this lovely little dangly pendant here. We're going to paint that gold too. Okay. Bangle on the wrist. We'll go with that first. This is the, the left wrist, it looks like. That holds the apple, yeah. Yeah. Let's get that going there. And a little of this gold is going to go a very long way because it's a vivid gold. Yeah, this isn't like the silver that is mm -mm. see-through and needs a a couple of layers sometimes. Nope. Ooh, there we go. Oh, we got another question. Um, Valinex asks, how do I get work to stop interfering with one of my favorite shows? <laughs> <laughs> I can write you a letter of excuse. <laughs> Wow, a couple of those. that would work, that would be great. Um, hey, listen, the the fun thing about this show is, you know, hopefully you can listen while you are doing other work. Mm -hmm. I know I am a serial uh, lurker and worker on Twitch. Yeah. I I listen to lots and lots of streams, and I'll I'll be lurking the whole time. Uh, oh, and the bangles in the hair. I'm like, I'm forgetting yeah. something. It's in the hair, too. And also, if you miss anything, uh, we do have our YouTube channel that you yeah. that that you can go to. And then I'm, I need to be quiet for a second because the bangles in the hair are going to take careful consideration. And by consideration, it means not talking for a second. Yep. Oh. See, this is one of those things... I've definitely learned over the last year of doing this show. I don't know if I would. I'm not going to say I've done this amazingly well, but I'm certainly doing this way better than I would have at the beginning of the year. Because you're 
getting that finite muscle control. Yeah. There's a lot to be said for muscle memory when you're doing mini painting. And also I've learned a lot about how to brace myself in, so in a way that is comfortable for me and that mm -hmm. lets me still... Uh... Brace yourself. Gold is coming. yourself. There are gold bangles and you must paint them. Mm-hmm. Oh, after this, I'm definitely going to need to stretch, though. This is one of those yep. it's super close, is super small. My, my yep. eyes are going to need a... A little rest. My eyes are going to need a moment. Read. Am I seeing this right, that one of the braids has three and one of the braids one has, has four? four? Yep, you okay. are correct. All right. We have some asymmetry happening here, folks. I'm okay with that. I just yeah. wanted to make sure I was seeing the right no, thing. You are seeing as you should be seeing. You are correct, my dear. Someone just, you know, they put the braids in their hair and they had one braid which was longer I mean... than the other and went, eh, you know what, I'm just going to deal with it. Maybe the Bengals are the victims she's had along the way. <laughs> <laughs> she's keeping Ooh. count. <laughs> I mean, it is it is a night hag, so you know they are terrifying, and you should go they a little really dark. They are not fun. Wah. I fun as a DM, run... as a player. <gasps> yeah. Deep. I haven't they run the night hag yet. I've encountered okay. one as a player, but I haven't run one. All right. Oh, I got to put that down for a second. Mm -hmm. Oof. That's fair. Oof. I'm going to go in now while you take a little break, and I'm going to do the amulet. No, I've gotten... Oh, but I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm going to do more of like a dry brush treatment on this, not necessarily a full coat. Okay. Just to kind of have that look a little bit more beat up. Um, yeah, just like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Dano in Toronto asks a good question that we, we get on a regular basis. Do you ever use a magnifying glass? I don't. I... Go ahead. Yeah, I don't use the, you can get like a bunch of different magnifying glasses. And this is my stretching as I answer your question. Um. I find them cumbersome, especially like the stuff that goes over your head, et cetera, et cetera. I like to get readers, um, just reader glasses you can get at a pharmacy. And I will pop one of those on to um, see the more finite details as I need them. Or if it's something that needs a lot of detail work and it's extremely small, that's where I will wait and get myself to a bunch of natural sunlight. And that will be a huge help for me. But there are various products you can use. Um, again, a lot of it's going to be your personal preference. I don't like the weight of things on my face. It just distracts me to no end. And I feel like I can't physically see. Um, but I grew up wearing glasses and stuff. So for me, a pair of reader glasses works so much better. Uh, so that's my personal preference. And I haven't used a magnifying glass specifically with minis, but I am a, a professional oboist by trade and we make our own reads and I have used on a uh, semi-regular basis, not a ton, um, there are these magnifying lights that you can buy that are basically like a ring light with a magnifier in the middle that you kind of look through. Mm -hmm. um, they're a little more expensive, but they do work real well if you're doing a lot of fine detail work and you want to make sure that you're not straining your eyes. You don't want anything on your face. Uh, and you're yeah. sitting up real well. And you showed off what that paint was. Silver. Totally didn't... That's the wrong ah, one. We're silver. silver. Yeah, we're going to go silver and go back to the cauldron. And we're just going to go through and run some silver as sort of like a dry brush, not coating it completely, mm -hmm. but just dry brushing the details of the Maduder at the top. <laughs> See how that pops out now? He he he. I love that. And then the handle itself. Also, yay Maduder. Yay Maduder. That's the cauldron's name. The cauldron is named Maduder. I'm here for it. Me too. I like it. Okay. Yep, there we go. We have the cauldron. <laughs> See, now I just have, like, the classic hag voice in my head. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to cast wow, my spell using my Maduder. <laughs> it's 
Because I'm a duder. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so I think... Oh, I forgot. Um, if you want, I thought it'd be cool. You can go in and you can either do silver or gold for the eyes. Ooh. I might go for silver to kind of give Ooh. it like a glowy magic effect. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm with you. I think I'm with you. All right, how big are these eyes? Am I going for a toothpick? If you want to. Eh, you know what? I got this tiny little brush with a little bit of silver on it. Let's let's go for the brush. One silvery eye. Oh, two silvery eyes. Yeah, I like the silver. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to bone white and just dry brush across the teeth so that those can kind of pop out. Pardon my sniffles. Hey. <laughs> Not showing up quite so well on my on my screen, but that's okay. There you go. We need a familiar name, Maduder in game. <laughs> A paint pot. There we go. Mm-hmm. That'd be hysterical. Oh, Dupuy, I can see his face right now. <laughs> yep. 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 Super excited. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gonna dry brush the teeth. Tiny little toothies. Ooh. Yep. Come on. I have to grab a different detail brush on my end. Just wanna get your choppers. I think, I think I could probably do more, but I feel like if I try to do any more, I'm just gonna paint, so I'm gonna stop. Yeah, that's fair. Especially since I already just got on the chin. Let me get that off the chin. Yeah, that's fair. No, no toothy color on the chin. No, we don't want that. God, she's creepy. She's yep, creepy. Let's have the fun. Yay. She's creepy, lady. Oh. Mmm. Ah. All right, what's next? Now I'm going to go towards my seraphim sepia wash, and we're going to put that onto the horns. And by the time we're done with the horns, we should be able to add it to the teeth, like in the mouth area. I do not have that color, so what am okay. I mixing up? So take your, um, you have the Agrax, right? Uh, Agrax Earthshade? Yeah, um, so take yes, your Agrax yes. Earthshade and use that instead. Okay. Seraphim sepia just has more of a yellowish brown as opposed to a neutral tone brown. Okay. And this is on just the horns. Just the horns. And then by the time you're done with the horns, you can move it over to the teeth. Because we've done a thin enough layer. Man, it's been a while since we've done a mini with this much detail. really fine detail yeah. work. Yeah. It's super cool. I'm I'm having fun with it, but it is definitely a a different challenge than what we've been doing recently. Mm-hmm. I wonder. No, no, I'll be good. No, 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 no. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I should put it over the eyes. I'm like, no, I kinda wanna keep them that piercing silver. I don't want to change that. Yeah. That, that I'm liking far too much. Yeah, that, that glow in the dark, almost mm -hmm. cat's eye kind of kind of exactly, look. Absolutely. Exactly what I'm thinking. Okay, so we have that going. And then we also need to paint the apple. So for that, I'm going to oh, go back yeah. to dark vermilion. And I need to thin mine out by nature because this is getting thick. This is definitely a thicker paint. So I'm going to thin it out just a little bit and then coat the apple. Okay. This is also one of those times where my paper plate is looking quite oh, no. exciting. Yeah. There's a lot happening on the paper plate today. Oh, yeah. 
All right. I want this to be like um, that candy apple red. I will be looking back at chat in just a moment, but certainly this while we're doing the, the apple, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of focus. I asked that question about the uh, the candy canes. I'm going to want to hear what the answers were in just a moment, but first, mm -hmm. I have to go. But first, I need to paint a deadly apple. Sorry, folks. This I cannot do with the camera in my face. I will show you what I painted when I'm done, but I cannot mm -hmm. reach the angles I need to because the camera is right where my brush handle needs to go. Uh, whereas mine is less about the camera, more about just making sure that I'm under the light so that I can see real mm -hmm. well what's going on. Yeah. Boy, howdy, does she have angles? <laughs> it's those, it's those hands. Right? She's so those sinewy. grabby hands. She's so sinewy. Are, there you go. Are we attempting to get the little on the top of the apple no, as well? No, that we're going to do um, just a little bit of brown on top for the stem. And it's actually a leaf and a stem. So I forgot we could use dark green for the leaf. Thin that out. We'll do dark green on the leaf and then do the stem uh, chocolate brown. Ooh. Forgot about those two colors we could use. So quickly grab our green. All right. I will grab my dark green. And just do it oh. very uh Mad Hatter, yes, we're we're just using water as a thinner. Yep. Uh, nothing, nothing but plain awesome water. Which, if you haven't had any to drink yet, make sure you get some drink with water in it. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's getting to the point that the, the sun is actually coming through my my shades and everything. It's like it's summer again, except it's the winter and it's freezing Here comes outside. the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, three more hours. I got some sunlight, so I'm I'm a little overblown on the on the screen mm. i'm sure but but hey you, you get to enjoy my anymore. get to enjoy my bright backdrop i don't there we always go. get to do okay. there's that apple apple complete and i think that takes care of the hag i don't know if we're gonna have time to finish up the gingerbread boy and the um candy cane today is the only thing because we're getting close to the end of the episode believe it or not yeah all right, I am going to well, do those some. Those will just have to be uh, homework over the homework. holidays. Yeah, exactly. I'm Which everyone loves. Nuln oil onto the base now that I have the hag pretty much taken care of. Hey, there's that apple. It's going to mm -hmm. be real hard to see on my camera because my camera is not made for it. But I will take, I will take lots and lots of win. pictures after the show and put those up on the socials now oh, that no. i have a phone that has a camera with a, a macro lens so that i could do all sorts of fun things mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm actually i love how that apple it. pops the gold in the apple yeah all right i'm also going to take this known oil and i'm going to do this onto how did that happen um onto the tunic now, do a wash of just the Nuln oil onto the tunic and the sash. Okay. No, that was kind of uh, AV Rack 3187 wants to know Paulton or Pwent? Do, do you need gold find? Go Paulton. If you would rather have a cool support, go Pwent. Which, which one sounds more useful to you in this moment? Pick that. I end up using uh, Paulton a lot more myself. He's just an overall good gold find to have. Mm, that's good. That's a good point. I mean. Oh, you know, what? I think I might call on the satchel as well. Or the sack as well. Little normal oh, yeah. sack. <laughs> 
Once again, another thing you only get to say mm-hmm. when you are painting minis or in D and D. Yeah, a little bit of gnome, gnome yeah. oil on the sack. Ta-da. Yeah, there we go. All right, let her dry now, and then we're gonna move over to the spell effects. So this is kind of where it's like a DIY in terms of what you want to do. I think what I'm gonna do for the base that's gonna butt up against the cauldron itself, I'm gonna paint this with Cassandora, so it almost has like a fiery effect. And that's going to be around the bottom of the cauldron and around the side. So I'm going to use my Cassandra yellow on that, those two pieces. And I think for inside the cauldron, I'm going to use my Bealtan green. So it's like that sickly green color. Ooh, yeah. I like both of those ideas. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to start with Cassandra yellow, which again is another wash, and put that onto the spell effects that are going to be in front of and around the cauldron. If it'll open. You need to move, my dear. You're kind of in... Hitting over. Yeah, we so. haven't used the Cassandra yellow in a hot minute. Yep. In a hot moment. Oh, but I love it. It is such a beautiful wash. It makes me happy. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, just basically You're do it across that. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And the whole entire thing. Just to get that lovely vivid yellow tint happening on the spell effect. Oh, I just saw everybody putting Gar's guide into the chat. Ooh. I don't know what got asked. I, I will look to see what got asked in a moment. But yeah, Garwar's guides are absolutely excellent. And and mm-hmm. uh, Garwar will be coming up after this show. Yeah. Garwar's, there's two Garwar's guides still for this week. There's a Garwar's guide to everything, which is immediately after the show. And then there is a, a Garwar's guide on Saturday morning. But that will be a guide that is specific to a topic that I'm sure I'm supposed to remember in this moment, and I do not, so I'm going to have to look it up. Ow. <laughs> Ow? Sorry, it's something, to, uh, the the spell effect poked me on the way oh, out. Oh, fair. Okay, very fair. Poked me as I was trying to walk away. And then it jumped um, up and bit me. Do, do, do. Garwar's Guide to the Heroes of Baldur's Gate. Hey, there that makes sense. So yeah, this afternoon is an a- is an excellent um uh it's an excellent go and uh learn more about just anything and ask your questions and then tomorrow mm-hmm. uh you can learn all about uh the Heroes of Baldur's Gate. Wee! This is the Beal Tin green that I'm going to go in with. This is a uh like an emerald greenish wash. It's a beautiful green wash to have on hand. I adore using it, especially on spell effects. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any of that. Let me check, because I'm okay. pretty sure that was one of the ones that I also um, had problems with. Mm, that's fair. And, and by problems, I mean, I I, I, I I dropped it. So should I just grab a green and do a green wash? Yeah, take the dark green and turn it into a wash. Um, okay. See how that does for you. So where it is? There it is. I'm like, where it is? There it is. Oh, yeah. Already got. Bonk. Now, the fun thing that'll come out doing this is there are skulls that are in that spell effect that you'll start to see. Ooh. Yeah, it's fun. And that was on top of the cauldron and that other On top of the cauldron effect, right? and the little swoosh. Yep. On top of the cauldron, <coughs> covered with skulls. <laughs> My haggy was casting. Mm. Um, uh, what we say? To summon some gulls. There we go. There we go. It is. It is a night hag over by the sea, summoning some gulls. Mm-hmm. Works for me. She hangs out with her sister, the sea hag. That makes sense. They got to have a coven. They do. It's nice to have a coven that is of of a variety of hags. Yeah. Variety is a spice of life. That's what goes into the cauldron. (laughs) That and many, many, many more things. Uh Uh-huh. Do, do, do. Uh 
might actually be too watered down for the top Ooh. of the cauldron. Uh-oh. Might actually have to add more green. Like, it's not a wash anymore. It's just oh, water it's... with a tint. Yeah, that can be an issue. No, you're not supposed to fall over there. So no then what you could over. always do is... um. Mix a little bit of um, the green with some silver and dry brush it to give it a green tint. It just won't be a full coverage if Ooh. you want to do that. All right, what else do we have going on here? Ah, gingerbread boy. Okay, so we have my little gingerbread boy. Yeah, don't forget the gingerbread Keeps boy. Away. I'm going to do a seraphim sepia wash. Again, to kind of give it more of that cookie look now that we've gotten the agrax on there. Yay. I'm kind of going for like a ginger snap for obvious reasons. Link. Oh yeah, this is, now we're getting a lot more ah, brown mm -hmm. and sticky. Brown and sticky apparently. Yep. All right, that's good. I'm gonna let them just rest over there. And I can clean that up later. We'll take care of that later. Let's see. Oh yeah, I love that color intensity. Look at that. Oh, it's pity. Oh wow, you went much brighter than I did. That was just one layer of the Cassandora. Wow. Yeah. It's a thing of beauty. All right, I think what I'm gonna do now uh, is. I think mine, mine probably got that, that bright. I guess I had to wait for it to dry a little bit, so. There you go. All right, I'm going to try and do the candy cane really quick. All right, we got five minutes. Let's do this. Yeah. So I will start with a dark vermilion and just paint some red stripes on, hopefully. I don't know if I want to use that detail brush, though. Pikachu, this one. I'm going to use the tiniest of detail brushes. We, yep, exactly. Tiny, tiny candy cane. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to go through and start. Oh, this is going to be a fun. Start getting alternating stripes. So basically what our homework's going to be, Lauren, is to assemble these together with super glue. Okay. Put the pieces together onto the base of the hag once they dry. And then we can kind of decide where you want to stick your gingerbread person and their candy cane that they'll be holding. Uh, you'll probably want to, for the gingerbread person, dot their eyes with black so they have like um, raisin. I always do raisins for gingerbread people. Um, so like dot their eyes with black and then their buttons. You could pick a brighter color for like a gummy gumdrop color. Oh, okay. And then you can attach the candy cane to one of their hands if you want, or prop the candy cane up against one side of the cauldron and the gingerbread person on the other side of the cauldron. You can do that as well. There's so many options. Yeah, you have some fun with assembly here. But what we can do is once we get those all assembled, because really it's just painting these little final details. Yeah and then putting them together. Because right now we can't assemble what we have going on because we still have washes drying both on the spell effects as well as the hag. Uh, but once these get painted and everything has time to dry, it's then just a matter of taking all the super glue and putting the pieces together. That'll be a project for this afternoon. Yes, and I'm gonna highly recommend you do that spell effect from the cauldron last. Ah, why is that? because you'll have more stability and everything else will be done and you won't be moving the mini around as much. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I was just about to say, I was just looking over at chat and I'm like, this is, this is your last chance for a couple questions before we have to go. Mm. Um, I did just see Kayla Marin. last question. Does Helen like Christmas or is she a bah, hung, bah humbug roper? Oh my goodness, she loves Christmas. Are you kidding me? She's practically shaped like a Christmas tree. That makes sense. <laughs> I can't right. see Helen not being excited about a holiday with that lovely grin she always has going. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Helen is Helen is uh, exuberant. Yeah, exuberant is an excellent way of putting it. I was trying to come up with just like a a classic happy, but like exuberant is yeah. Okay. So yeah, I need this candy cane to. Hold on, did I miss a spot? Did I did? How did that happen? Hmm, my stripedies did not line up on the candy cane. This is interesting to me. I had one of them not line up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be the you... back part, so I can fix that. <laughs> yeah, I had one uh, at the top that yep, exactly, I turned over, yeah. and I'm like, "Did not, that didn't line up? It didn't up. line well, up. All right. All right, well, yeah, I can cheat that in assembly. I'm not too worried about that. I think what I'll do is a green bow on the front. As a fun little pop Ooh, of color. So we'll use the dark green yeah. like what we did on the um, apple leaf. We can do that as the bow color. But yeah, we'll let that dry. And then definitely let the red dry first before going in with the dead white for the other stripes. So mm. dead white on the other stripes, dark green on the bow. If you want to, you can do a wash of Nuln oil to bring out some more of the detail. Let everything dry and then put it together. So that's going to be our homework after the fact. And then we will post it on our socials over the break because... It's already 10 minutes to the top of the hour. <laughs> it, yeah, it's time to stop. Thank you, to, everybody in chat, for hanging out with us, especially this last hour where we've yeah. been very quiet and intense. But it's been, been a very intense last yeah, hour. It has been. But, but I'm here for to get a sense of how this is all starting to come together. Look at how those colors Yay. will look. Oh, I'm so excited to put it together. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're almost done. It's honestly not enough to do another episode because it'll be about 20 minutes. <laughs> And like you said, we've got to wait a little bit for everything yeah. to dry and then put it all together. And so it's not yeah. even that it's another 20 minutes. It's like another 10 minutes to wait. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so that's what we'll do over the break. We'll get this put together and you can see everything finished up. Uh, don't forget, use your time gate pieces. Yes. Use your time gate weekend and get all those lovely champions y'all been talking about. And we will see you in the new year. For our first episode, which is going to be January 13th, right? We get a Friday the 13th in for Ooh, the yeah. first episode. <laughs> and I'll be posting uh, what you'll need for that first episode in the Discord shortly. Mm -hmm. So come on by the Discord and yes. join us in 2023 for more paint and slay. And Hello. thank you, V, for a thank lovely you. year oh, of, yes. of painting and minis and teaching. And I'm looking forward to year two. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. So be safe. Take care, everyone. We'll see you on the flip side. Happy holidays. Mazel tov. Bye. Bye.